Hi, I'm Tom. Hi, I'm Luke. And we're here with the Euroquision Games, a brand new hilarious game show podcast themed around the Eurovision Song Contest. And have we got someone for you to meet? Hi, I'm Rob. I think I'm the world's biggest Eurovision super fan, but who knows? I've been trying to get you to obsess with Eurovision for, what, almost a decade now? And apparently it hasn't worked because here you are trying to knock me down a peg or two. Well, you've been talking about Eurovision year in, year out. And I mean, we quite like it, don't we, Luke? We do. Yeah, we do. We don't mind Eurovision that much, but we're just sick of hearing it. Every month you're like, oh, these have got into Eurovision. Not to mention, between the three of us, it's all been a bit extra because we have gone to Sweden where we saw a semi-final of Melody Festival in and the final two years later. So it's not like we don't indulge your hobby. But the fact that you two even know what the word Melody Festival means shows that I'm doing something right. Well, we're sick of it. We're sick of your bragging. We're sick of you talking about Eurovision all the time. And we want you to prove for the ultimate time that you are as knowledgeable about Eurovision as you say you are. I'm a little bit nervous about this. I think I know a lot about Eurovision. When I get into something, I become ever so slightly obsessive. I think that's probably an understatement. But I fancy my chances. Let's just say that, shall we? So what's the plan, Luke? plan is you're going to be challenged in a number of different rounds against a number of other Eurovision superfans. Each episode, there'll be a brand new Eurovision superfan for you to take on. And you've got to prove you know more than them. And it could be anyone. And I mean anyone. We've got some surprise guests for you this series. Now, I've never been good with confrontation, so I'm already a little bit worried about this. (laughs) And this is your chance to prove that once and for all, you know all. And will you two then just fully embrace it? You will let me ride on this Eurovision journey with me? Hey, if so, if so, maybe I'll consider coming to a Eurovision with you. (gasps) Do you know what? I'll join that bandwagon. Yeah, I'll consider it too. I'm going to take that as a definite, right? Because I'm going to win this. But for that to happen, you need to win over half of the series. Deal. Are you confident though? Deal. Am I confident? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Why not? I like my chance. I think anything you throw at me, I'm up to the challenge. Mm. Check this guy talking a big game. I know. I know. You re- you're really that confident, are you? Oh, yeah. It's going to be easy. <laughs> I'd just like to point out, this is what we've been dealing with for about nine years. This is the sort of arrogance we're on about. It's all based on fact. Don't you worry about that. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Shall we introduce you to today's contestant? Let's do it. So today's contestant is 20 years old and from Russia. She's currently living in London and in 2018, or in the last couple of years, she's been to her first ever London Eurovision party. The one Eurovision act who she thinks was robbed of victory was Mahmoud with Soldi. And she met Dina Garapova in Russia back in 2013. She was barely able to even talk to her. Today's contestant is Lydia. Hi, Lydia. How are you? I am great. How are you doing? I'm I'm all good. I'm all good. Now tell us why you think you are a Eurovision super fan. I mean, that's not exactly what I think. That's what all the people around me think. All right, all right. Uh, I did actually want to respond to your email before, but uh, when I told my friends about you, they were like, you have to go. You are the biggest fan I've ever known. And I'm like, okay, let me try. You've been pushed into this. Kind of, yeah. I love that. I it's love so that. So, Lydia, why do you love Eurovision? It's just something that makes me happy. I I love watching it. I love the the Eurofans, the energy that it brings. Like, literally everything about it is great. For a start, Lydia, it is great to talk to someone who is as obsessed as about Eurovision as I am, even though you're my competitor today. But what's your first? <laughs> what's your first Eurovision memory? My f- First Eurovision memory would be my country winning winning Eurovision in 2008. I remember that really vividly. (laughs) So do you always support Russia at Eurovision or do you have any other countries you like to support? This is a weird thing because I do not support my country whatsoever. Oh, (laughs) all right. So what country is it? My my go-to country is Italy. I mean, you've had so many good songs to pick from over the years. So, oh, I'm so jealous. Rob, what's your favourite Italy song? Just Favourite Italy song, I think Soldi has to be up there. And uh, also uh, Il Volo as well. They Potentially, a lot of people say they were robbed in 2015. I absolutely agree. It's, <laughs> 2015 is my favourite Italy song as well, with my winner. So finally, before we get into all the games, I want to hear about this crush you had on Francesco Gabbani. 
I had. I still have it though. Oh, you still got the crush on him. <laughs> I wish uh, I wish I could have got an interview with him or something. Hooked you up with him on 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 air. <laughs> Oh, that would be great, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tell I tell you what, if you win this episode, I will do all I can to get in touch with Francesco Gabbani and see whether I can get a video message from him or something. Does that sound good? Okay, that's just motivating me even more. <laughs> okay, thank you. Cool, cool. Right, let's get into it. So there's going to be three rounds. The winner of each round gets an extra 10 seconds for our end game. Now, the end game is just an ultimate Eurovision quiz. So both of you get 60 seconds just as standard. But for every round you win throughout the show, you'll get an extra 10 seconds. All right. Mm -hmm. So, Luke, what is going to be our first round? The first round is going to be... In the shower with Luke. Oh, it's one of my favourites. <laughs> now, in this round, Luke has recorded himself singing in the shower. I do apologise, Lydia, for what you're about to hear. <laughs> <laughs> in each clip, he's going to be singing a different Eurovision song. Now, it's your job to tell us the name of the song and the name of the artist. If you answer within five seconds, you get the maximum ten points. For the following 10 seconds, the points will reduce by one point each second. If there's no answer within 15 seconds, you'll receive zero points. Now, I'm going to go one by one. So we'll start with Lydia, and then we'll go to Rob, and then we'll go back to Lydia, and then back to Rob. And both of you receive three different audio clips each. So, Lydia, this first one is for you. Let's see Let's how you do. Going home, I'm a runner in the night Turning back with another chance to make it right I know where I went wrong I've been away for far too long On the track, I'm a runner in the night So there was no answer there, Lydia. Do you... I mean, this is embarrassing. I could not understand that. It's all right. It's all right. Rob, do you think you know? I'm I'm with Lydia. I had absolutely no idea what that was. That was Ryder with Runner in the Night. So this next song is for Rob. Rob, this is your first song. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's see what Luke's been doing in the shower. <laughs> Tell me that I've got it wrong. Tell me everything will be okay Before I fall Tell me they'll play it's, is, it, is it Franz if I was sorry? No, no it Tell isn't Tell will sing the words I say When darkness falls oh, uh, oh no, oh no this is embarrassing. I mean, your time is definitely up, but yeah. if you can get it, it's good. What? Oh, no. I know the answer, and Lydia's probably going to get it right, but I, I just can't get it. Oh, Lydia's not time. going to get it right. Like, she knows the song. But she... <laughs> <laughs> so do you want the answer, both of you? What the song name is. Yes, please. I can't remember what the song is. So the song was Tom Dice with me and my oh, guitar. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> I love this song. How could I not get it? It was on the tip of your tongues. I know it was. Right, this one's for Lydia. Oh. Come on, come on, come on. Love is all over me. You are the only one living in my fantasies, in my dreams. Any idea, Lydia? <laughs> I, I feel like I'm an, an imposter. Hey, you're not, you're not an imposter. Oh, don't Lydia. worry. Don't worry. Don't be too big. Feel like that. On. Going on. <laughs> Rob thinks he's got it, Rob. I think. Is it Vanilla Ninja from 2005? 
No, I don't think so. No. Wigwam in my dreams. Wigwam. That's yes. Oh, no. yeah. oh. Do you know what it is, Lydia? You're you're not a fraud or an imposter. It's probably just my voice. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is Luke in the shower. It is me in the shower. So. <laughs> right, Rob, this is your second go. Neither of you have got any points yet. I'm just going to point that out. We're going to dream a summer away in a world where we're not meant to. Stay, and that we can make it all a secret is you. It's love. Shout out if you know it. Uh, Nadine Byler, The Secret is Love. Yes, correct. I'm going to give you that one. It might have been just out of time, but I'll give you one point. Thank you very much. I'll give you one point. I mean, I'm surprised as much as, as everyone else here is that I got that one correct. <laughs> Lydia, would you have got that? <laughs> I would have got the name. I don't remember the artist's name. Ah, oh, but but still, you'd have got you'd have got there. See, right. Yeah. So this is your final chance to get any points in this round, Lydia. We believe me, me and Luke are rooting for you. We need you to get a, we need you to get a point. Come on, we're on your side. Here it is. Say yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on and raise your battle cry. You are the one who never dies. Racing la 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 la. I want singing la 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 la. Keep on climbing over hills. Right now you're falling. Oh, I know, I know. Uh, this, is, uh, <laughs> this is a 2016 month song. Uh, what, what was the name? <laughs> I remember it's 2016. Come on, come on. <laughs> Do you want me to play it again? Will that help? Um, I need I, to... I'm trying to remember what the name is. I'm going to play it one more time, Lydia, and give you the chance. Okay. <laughs> Say yeah, 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 come on and raise your battle cry. You are the one who never dies. I'm just saying that, uh, uh, Barry, say yeah. Yes! yes. 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 Right, okay. I played it a second time, so I'll also give you one point. Well done, Lydia. Oh, okay. It's at least something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're, we're very happy with you, very proud of you. Right, Rob, it all comes down to this. You need to get the next one right. Shady lady. I'm gonna strike like thunder. It's an easy one. Shady Annie Laura Annie, Annie Laura Shady Lady Ukraine 2008. Great. How many points, Rob? That's just unfair. <laughs> so I think you got five points there. You got five points. Five points. Now, to be fair, Congrats, to, Rob. thanks, Lydia. To be fair to, to to you, Lydia, I think you would have easily got that in five points as well. That's just how the how the clips have fallen. But I'll take I'll take the win. But I think you would have definitely got that one right as well. I am absolutely embarrassed. <laughs> you shouldn't be, shouldn't be embarrassed. I can't tell you how hard this is as a round. Lydia, to be honest, if anyone should be embarrassed, it should be me. <laughs> like, I'm the one that like was singing in the shower and not very oh, well. Great voice. <laughs> <say that. laughs> now, what, now, what no one knows yet is that uh, me, Luke and Rob all lived together a few years ago mm. and we had to deal with <laughs> Luke singing in the shower all the time. So you could say, Lydia, I had a slight unfair advantage because I have heard... That was an advantage. <laughs> I have heard that voice I'll in the show I'll take one before. extra point for that. <laughs> oh, go on then. <laughs> I'm, unfortunately, that would still mean Rob wins. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm I sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but I believe you can pull it all back in the next round. All he's earned is another 10 seconds. You can still earn another 20 seconds. So you're fine. You're fine. Game two is the commentator said it. Oh, I mean, I know I say this all about right. all the rounds, but this is one of my favorite rounds. But I will say this is incredibly hard. So don't expect to be getting all of them right. So in this round, in this round, Luke will read out various quotes from the BBC's coverage of Eurovision. You must tell us which act they were talking about. So each of you get three different songs each. Again, we'll go in in turn order. So it'll be Lydia, Rob, Lydia, Rob, Lydia, Rob. And each round consists of three different quotes talking about the same act. If you answer after the first quote, you get three points. After the second quote, you receive two points. After the third and final quote, you receive one point. Now, all of the songs are linked by the same year. We're not going to tell you what year that is, but if you get the answer to one of them right, then it means it should help you as you get further on in the game. Okay? Mm -hmm. Ready to go. Does... Although, as we've seen so far, if we get any points, it'll be a miracle. So let's see how we both get <laughs> on. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah, absolutely. Cool. Luke, what is the first quote? 
She is the Eurovision darling. She's all anyone's talking about. Do you have any ideas, Lydia? Um, I'll, I'll go for the second quote. You'll go for the second quote. Okay. okay. The song is beautifully staged and I hope it does well tonight. So it could that, be anything. <laughs> that's linked with the first one. So she's the Euro, Eurovision mm-hmm. darling and the Sorry. song is beautifully staged. She's the Eurovision darling. I'm, uh, what, what I'm thinking first is the Valentina Moneta of so the Bad first. No. Would that be her? No, not her. Good guess, though. Good guess, Lydia. So are you ready for the third and final quote? Uh, let's try to get one point. <laughs> <laughs> Austria hasn't won the competition for 49 years. So it's an Austrian act because Austria haven't won the competition for 49 years. The song is beautifully staged. and she's... Oh my God. What is, is, it, is it Conchitaverse? It is. It Conchitaverse. Is. And just so there's no bias, Lydia, what was the song? Uh, right, like a finish. It was. There you go. You get one point. So well that's done. how oh this game works. <laughs> All right. Rob, are you ready for your first one? I'm ready. So Lydia's already got a point in this round. Yes. So I really need to up my game. So you do need to get the points going. Now, on paper, this should be wildly annoying. They're dressed as the Teletubbies. <laughs> oh, um, can I guess? I'm going to guess. Yeah. Uh, I can't remember. It was Iceland. Is it Polka Punk? Punk, Polka <laughs> something or other? Polka... Oh no! We we need we need the name of the act and the name of the song. Oh um oh the song is is the song called No Prejudice. It is called No Prejudice. <laughs> I'm gonna it, it's something like polka punk, isn't it? Can I have half a point? What? Oh, well, uh, well, half the point. I, I know I know the name. Can I get the point? <laughs> Lydia, what do you what what do you think it is? It's polyphonic, I think. Yes, it yeah, is. it is. Right, well, half your points, Rob. So okay. you get one and a half points. Okay. So Lydia's okay. on one, and Rob is on one and a half. Back to Lydia. Now, this one's parents did everything right. <laughs> this, this is a hard one, I'll give you that. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh. Um, um, it's Belgium. Alex, uh, Alex, um, what, what was his name? Uh, the song is Mother. No, no, not that. No? Do you, oh. want, do you want the second one? That's a good guess for a f- first yeah, quote, believe yeah. me. Guess, actually, yeah. I don't know how much flutes cost in Slovenia, but she never lets it out of her sights. Oh, well, it's <laughs> Slovenia. Mm. Um, I, um, I, want, I want to remember the name. Uh, the, the name of the song is Round and Round. Yes, yes. 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 Um, <laughs> she participated in this year's Slovenian selection. Oh, do you know? Do you uh, know the Tina, name? Tina, what was it? Tina something. Sinkovic. Uh, <laughs> just so something I don't do remember. You, do you think you'll get it if we read you the third quote? No, 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 no. No, it's not that. It's not that. I, I think. Um, I think. Cena's Lydia's done so well there. I'm gonna be generous. I think. I think you should give that to her because I know the song like me? Lydia, but I don't know the artist either. It's Tina something. I'm sure it is. So it's Tinkara Kovac. <sighs> there it is. There you yeah. go. We'll, you were so close. We're so close. We've Lydia. given you two points I'll, I'll there, Lydia. It. I'll take it. I'll be generous and I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> right. So we're back to Rob. Bouncing back to Rob. Can we take some points off, Lydia? If I now don't get this one right. <laughs> no, 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 that is not how it works. Not. <laughs> now we're rooting for Lydia here, Rob. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine a sort of cut price Justin Timberlake, if you will. Right. Can I guess? Yeah. Yeah. Of course you can. Uh, this is easy. <laughs> Oh, 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 all right. Yeah. All right, Lydia. All right, Lydia. Oh. Wait, wait your turn. <laughs> uh, I'm going to say uh, Teo, cheesecake. <laughs> yes. Oh my yes. God. How yes. did you get right. that? Yes. That was so easy, though. Wow. I'm, I'm amazed still. Right, do you want to read out the following quotes from Teo, cheesecake? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the following quotes after that was, not even any circus skills to cheer this up. And read it for yourself. It's actually called that. I didn't make it up. <laughs> <laughs> so that was a whole three points there, Rob. Well done. So Lydia, you need to you need to get three points, I'd say. Oh, the pressure is on. Under pressure oh. yet again. Are you ready for your next one? Yes. Cool. Right. Here's the here's the first quotes. Lyrics include Shake What Your Mama Gave You. <laughs> it's essentially a feminist anthem. 
Leon Donald Penn via Slavic. Yes! yes! I love the song. Oh, yes. Wow. Well done. So you've got six points in that round. So we're now bouncing back to Rob. He really needs to get this right. So how many do I need? So you need... I mean, you really confuse things by having half a point. <laughs> I'll just put that out there. But you need one and a half. Okay. Okay? Okay. Oh. First quote is this. She's come for the last three years in the semi-finals representing San Marino. Oh, Valentina Manetta. Oh, my God. With... Oh, um... Oh, which song? You know I mean, we I mean, need it, Rob. I mean, she's had so many songs. Um, it begins with a C. Uh, oh, no. No, no, no. Um, it's like It sounds like chrysalide or something like that. Can I get this? <laughs> Give me another quote and, and I'll try and think of the name of the song. <laughs> this year, miraculously, and I mean that, she's made it into the grand final. Oh, what was the name of the song? Oh, li- Go on, Lydia. I'm not going to get the points. I'm going to forgo this round. <laughs> maybe. Yes, yes, it was maybe. It was. Well done. Well done. So that means Lydia wins that round with yeah. six points oh. and Rob had four and a half. That was a very good round, though. What do you think yeah. to the commentator? I redeemed said myself. <laughs> you did redeem yourself. I Honestly, I think we both did better than both of us expected in that round. I am proud of both oh, of you. <laughs> yeah, that's very impressive on both Yes. Of you. Yes. Well done. So shall we go into the next round? Let's. The next round is, what's the next line? Luke will read out one line of lyrics from a Eurovision song. You simply need to say or sing. I mean, we'd prefer you to sing. I'm not going to (laughs) lie. Are there more points on offer if we sing? I think I'll give you an extra point for each one if you sing it. Okay. Is Is that fair, Lydia? Are you happy with that? Oh, wow. <laughs> all right. Yeah, all right, all right. Uh, you simply need to say or sing the next line. Uh, you're both going to get five different songs and you get a point for correctly singing the next line. I'm going to stick with one person and go through all five. Okay. So, Lydia, I'll give you the choice. Do you want to go first or second? I'll go second. I'll okay. <laughs> so that means Rob is going first. Are you ready for your first one? Yes, I am. Okay, Luke. And we don't have a thing to lose. No matter what they say or do, I don't want nothing more. I'd love to sing it, but honestly, I'm trying to think what the next line is. I wish I would have gone first. (laughs) 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 Do you know it? You know it then, Lydia. Yeah, I'm going to pass. So so go on, Lydia. For no points. For no points, yeah. Our love is untouchable, I'm joyous. Yes, That's correct. it is. Christian Kostov with Beautiful Mess. Of course. And representing I, Bulgaria I am in 2017. Be- I am a beautiful mess in this <laughs> so far. Right, next song for Rob. This is a zeal from above and it can say it all. This is a fever they can't take away. This is a fever they can't take away. This is the sound of the sound of. Surely, I'm going to sing it. Surely it's... The sound of silence. No. no. <laughs> Lydia, do you know that as well? I don't know that, but definitely. Don't know that one. Luke, what was it? The next lyric was the sound of our hearts. Oh, uh, compact disco. Yes. Wow. Hungry, uh, 2012. <laughs> it's on my iPad, if anyone has them still. <laughs> Rob, here's your next one. I can't go on. I can't go on. Oh, that's, that's, that's it. That's it. Yeah. That's like that. it. Cause you look so freaking beautiful. Yeah. Come on. Uh, I mean, it's when you look this freaking beautiful, but we'll give you that. That was Robin Bengston. I can't go on. He represented Sweden in 2017. So here's your penultimate song, Rob. Okay. Come on, everybody. Let's sing along and feel the power of a song. I know the song. So it's Estonia, 2001. The winner that year. Can I have the line one more time, please? Come on, everybody. Let's sing along and feel the power of a song. I, uh, this is going to be a guess. Uh, come on, everybody, and clap your hands. <sighs> no, it wasn't. The next lyrics were, come on, everybody, let's feel the spark that always stays within our hearts. <sighs> so close, but yet so far. So you've only got one point so far, Rob. There's no need to rub it in. Or two. Did you sing it? I did. You I, did. Sing- I, I ask Lydia. Lydia, do you think I I did sing the one I got correct? 
which one was he going? <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, Robin Benson. I'll take your word that you sung it. So I'll give you two. You've got two points. Thanks very much. Okay. And also, just so we know. Rob did get the year right. That was Estonia in 2001. And the act was Tanel Padar and Dave Benton with everybody. Yes. Dave Benton, the first black winner of Eurovision, if you want any more facts. Nice, oh. nice. So this is your final chance at points before the end game, Rob. Okay. It's quite a lot going, on, going for you on this. Yeah, come on. So let's see whether you can get it right. And I will dance for you all night. Tell me, have you ever been to Magic Land? <laughs> Tell me, have you ever seen the magic dance? <laughs> I mean, it's only when you hear Eurovision lyrics spoken that you realise quite how ridiculous some songs are. <laughs> and I have absolutely... N I'm going to guess... Oh, this is definitely someone crazy like Sir Hat. I don't know the line. What's the next line, Rob? I don't are you know not the having line. A guess? Because you'll find me and my magic hat. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> Lydia, do you think you know? I mean, no one knew it could be the actual lyric. It could, it could have been. Um, <laughs> but do you know the answer? I have no idea. No. I have no idea. <laughs> right, so the following lyric to uh, Tell Me Have You Seen The Magic Dance was Na 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 na. So it was Sir Hat. Go oh, wild. It wasn't, no, go wild it dancers. It wasn't. Oh, wild, wild dancers. dancers. Oh, yes. Oh, I thought it was going to be say na na na. No, no. no. No, it was Rostana. So, at the end of that, you've got two points, Rob. Okay. So Lydia, you could still really win this. Yeah, Lydia, you've got 10, 10 points on offer here if you sing all the answers. So you've got a good chance. <laughs> you've got okay. a good chance. We're really rooting for you as always. Are you ready for your first huh. one? Yes. Retribution, you were warned. Once I'm transformed, once I'm reborn. You know, I will, you know, I will rise like a phoenix. Sure. Yes. 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 Was that was that singing? I, I, I forgot to sing. It. Uh, <laughs> Do you want to sing it? Oh, it's too late now. It's too late now. <laughs> All right, we'll go with one point. One point. Well done, Lydia. but that's correct. That was, of course, the incredible Conchita verse with "Rise Like a Phoenix." Right, Lydia, are you ready for your next one? Yes. We're gonna live like it's our last night alive, and we're dancing till the morning light. Do you want me to say it again for you, Lydia? No, I'm, I'm pretty sure I don't know it. Don't know I don't know it. Okay, what no. was that, Luke? That was Ryan Dolan, Only Love Survives. He represented Ireland in 2013. Ah. Hmm? I've been keeping the song forever. So. <laughs> and the lyric that follows that was, And even if the sun don't rise, in the end, only love survives. What a what a lovely message what from Ryan. What a lovely message. <laughs> Next one. This one is going to be interesting. I'll tell you that much, Lydia. Are you ready? Barely. Great confidence. Like it. <laughs> <laughs> Spicing sword. <Yeah. laughs> right. Here we go. He's a bucker, bucker, um, bucker, bucker, um, boy. Bucker, um, buck, buck, buck. I'm not your bucker, um, buck, um, buck, um, buck, um. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, Luke. Love it. Lydia? Can I get it again so I know what I'm Get saying. it again. I love it. I love you, Lydia. <laughs> yeah, I love well you. Yes, we do want to hear that again. Well done, Lydia. <laughs> oh. Okay, here we go. He's a bucka um buck buck um boy. <laughs> bucka um buck buck buck. I'm not your bucka um buck um buck um. <laughs> I mean, it would be, I'm not your toy, you stupid boy. Yes, that's yes. right. Well it done. It is. Again, no singing there, Lydia, though. Disappointing. <laughs> That is. A I got two points already. It's already a draw. <laughs> that is one point. So you're I'm being strategic. Well, you're now on so par. So I don't need to think. You're now on par with Rob. You just need one more point, and you've got two songs to do. Yeah, that's yeah. how well Lydia's doing in this round. Is yeah. she's managed to equal what I did and not sing yet? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was, of course, Netta with Toy, who represented Israel in 2018. A very unforgettable performance. That, <laughs> as was yours. Oh, thanks. <laughs> So, Lydia, are you ready for your next one? Yes. I don't want tomorrow. Oh, baby, tonight's so good. Tonight's so good. This is one tough act to follow. Oh, tonight's so good. 
forget tomorrow we can do tonight again. Yes! <laughs> again, no singing. It's all in the strategy. She's, right. I don't need to sing she anyway. doesn't need She's beaten to. you now anyway, but we're going to do the next song afterwards. I reckon Lydia's had some much easier ones on this round. <laughs> <laughs> don't go blaming the questions, please. <laughs> That one was, of course, Guy Sebastian with Tonight Again. He performed for Australia in 2015. Australia's first year of entry. It was indeed. All right, Lydia, are you ready for your next one? I'm definitely ready. Cool. Okay. And I know you're my every tomorrow, and I know that you'll always be there. What's the next <laughs> one? That's a difficult one. I mean, I don't need to know this. Right? You don't need to know this. You've already won, but you can take a, take a guess. <sighs> I have no idea. I don't know if I know this one. All right. Rob, do you want to guess? I have no idea. Right. So that was Mickey Hart. We've got the world. <laughs> he represented Ireland in 2003. Is there something in the fact that you're Irish and there are a lot of Irish artists <laughs> in this round? <laughs> You'll never guess who, uh, who wrote the questions for this round. <laughs> <laughs> what was the next line, Luke? The next line was, we've got the world tonight, let's hold on together. Well, there you go. What? But Lydia, you did not need that because you have absolutely stormed that round and you've got another 10 <laughs> seconds for the final end game. Congratulations. So we're about to do the big final quiz. And Lydia, I am very happy to say you have got an extra 20 seconds added to your 60 seconds. So you've got 80 seconds. Whereas Rob has only got 70. So that's an extra 10 seconds advantage. I think you can get another another question or at least another two questions in that. Hopefully. Are you optimistic? Um, um oh, uh, I'm not sure. It depends on if I'm going to be lucky with the question, right? I think you'll do absolutely fine. Rob? I don't need the extra time. That's what we're going to find out from this. I'm going to be absolutely <laughs> fine. If you just said at the start you're going to have 70 seconds, I would have been happy. But now I know that Lydia's got 80. I'm a little bit more nervous, but it just makes it more of a challenge. That's okay. fine. It doesn't mean I'm not going to win. just makes it more of a challenge. Okay, cool. <laughs> and Lydia, we're really rooting for you. Please, please, can you beat Rob? Please. This is so much pressure. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever gets the most questions correct in this endgame wins the show. So this is for everything. Don't want to put pressure on Lydia, but this is where the pressure comes as to whether you're getting <laughs> any sort of message or anything from, from Francesco. I'm, I'm doing this for Francesco. Okay. <laughs> so your time starts as I read the first question. Good luck, Lydia. We're rooting for you. So <laughs> according to Eurovision, who is the first winner which we can consider an international hit? Uh, Dominico, uh, maybe this is a different. <laughs> no, no, it wasn't. True or false? It Cyprus wasn't. have won Eurovision. True or false? Justin Hawkins competed to represent the United Kingdom in Eurovision in 2007, but what band does Justin Hawkins front? Yeah. It was the darkness. True or false? Instrumental entries are allowed on Eurovision. False. That's right. The winner of Eurovision 2004 was Ruslana from Ukraine. But after the song contest, who did Ruslana become an advisor to? Um, a president. Oh, we'll give you that. It was the Ukrainian oh, prime minister. How okay, prime minister. How many people are on each national jury? Um, four. It's five. In 2005, ah. Eurovision celebrated its 50th anniversary by choosing its best song ever. What song was that? Waterloo. Yes, it was. In what year did Celine Dion win for Switzerland? Oh, okay. It was 1988. In what year did Spain, the United Kingdom, are? Oh, I've started, so I'll finish. In what year did Spain, the United Kingdom, the Netherlands, and France all finish first? 1968. Mm, it was 1969. Sorry, Lydia. <laughs> so close. So you got four oh, correct. Oh, that was tough. That's not are, you, nice. are you happy with that's that or not? Nice. I'm not happy. <laughs> <laughs> but it all relies on Rob. He's got 70 seconds to get through as many as he can. Rob, are you ready? I'm ready. I think Lydia had some really difficult questions there. I'm ready. Let's, let's just see how it goes. Your time starts when your first question is started. You've got 70 seconds. What was the name of Eurovision's first black contestant? Uh, pass. 
It was Millie Scott. What was the first Eurovision song to be sung either wholly or partially in an imaginary language? Uh, it was Belgium 2003. Um, pass. It was Sonomi by Urban Trad. Belgium 2003, damn it. How long was the shortest song ever to be entered in Eurovision? Allow a leeway of five seconds either side. Oh, one minute 49. It was one minute 26. True or false, no country that's ever performed second in the grand final has ever won in that same year. True. It's true. Which dance show made its international premiere as the Interval Act at Eurovision in 1984? Riverdance. It was. True or false, Jesse Matador featured in Netflix's movie Eurovision Song Contest, The Story of Fire Saga. True. Yes. In its history, only three women conducted the orchestra at Eurovision. Name one of them. Pass. It was Nurit Nersh, Monica Dominique, or Anita Kerr. In Copenhagen 2001, the largest ever audience attended Eurovision. About how many people were there? 39,000. Oh, I'll give you that. It was 30, around 38,000. In what year were the semi-finals introduced to Eurovision? 2004. It was. Name one country that has opted out of hosting Eurovision after winning. Uh, Luxembourg. It was, yeah, Luxembourg. I'd have also taken the Netherlands, France, Monaco, or Luxembourg. You got six questions correct, Rob. Yes. Your pride is intact. <clears throat> Sorry, Lydia. How Mine you... is not, though. Oh. How are you feeling? I'm not getting any attention to have time. So we're going to stay there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'll still see what I can do for you, Lydia. I'll still see what <laughs> I can do. But how have you felt for being a contestant on, on the Eurovision Games? <laughs> you, I think you've put on a good competition. Rob, what do you think? I think, Liddy, you've done a great job. I think you were unlucky with some of the questions in your uh, in your final round there. But no, well done. But unfortunately, just not quite good enough. Oh, well, God, Rob, then. I'm not going to lie. The biggest fear of ours coming into the recording studio today was that Rob was going to win no episodes. <laughs> so I'm quite glad that we've proved on episode one he can win. And maybe in the next episode, he'll get taken down a peg. I really hope so. Thank you, Lydia, for your time. Thank you so much. Thank you. So, Rob, you won. I am delighted and also delighted to prove to you on the first episode that I really do know what I'm talking about. You do. I'm surprised. I'm surprised. Yeah. We need to make this harder, Tom. We need to make it harder. And believe me, for episode two in two weeks time, I can't even tell you how hard I've made it. I can't wait to see your reaction. Whoever you've got to take me on, look, I've proved here today, you're going to have to be someone who knows a lot about Eurovision oh, to beat me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just look at him there talking a big game. Still, I, still, still. I will say Lydia did an amazing job. I'm very, she, she was a great first contestant. There are no prizes for taking part, though, uh, are there? Other than me trying to get in touch with Francesco. I mean, I don't know how I'm going to do it, but <laughs> I'll see what I can do. What do I get for winning anything? Hang on. We said at the yeah. start, we said if you win more than half of the episodes, we'll come to Eurovision with you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's what you get. Well, maybe after doing this, I don't want to spend that long with you. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see, because you've got another five episodes. I'm confident. I'm confident. So far, my record is one episode, one win. 100% win record. So the leaderboard is... Rob one, super van zero. That's a good leaderboard at the minute, Rob. We'll see what you can do in episode two. Join us then and make sure to subscribe on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts from. See you next time. Rob. Goodbye. Thank you for joining us. See you soon. Mm-hmm.